Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you took some planes yesterday. I hope you found some gems yesterday. I actually did not find one yesterday, but I kept my eyes open on Bitcoin and Grok. And then I've kind of been watching Solana a little bit and some of the other bigger uh, cryptos, I guess, just because I'm trying to see the correlation between them and some of these meme tokens. And currently the meme market's moving a little bit slower than average. So we really, really need to be precise in what we're gonna hone for that next gem. Let's talk about Grok though, just because yesterday we got a quick update and today it looks like it's kind of staying within the same realm. This is that same lines we drew yesterday and as we can see, it stayed within the channel. It went up just a little bit here in the channel, but at least it's found its position. And then this line it's still staying with. So technically we've got a capability to maybe make it here and there's no guarantee on that because there has to be some sort of catalyst or some sort of thing that would move it like that. What I think right now, also this is the one hour time frame. So we are looking at a bigger time frame. So just kind of keep that in mind. I don't know why I refreshed. Yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. But at an extra 35% opportunity, that's not terrible. I don't necessarily love it. I'm not gonna take this play. But we're still at $52 million market cap and the liquidity is sitting at a cool 1.57 million, which is pretty good. That's a very, very freaking good ratio. I love it. It is still not locked liquidity. You know what's crazy, you guys? I don't understand how people have not complained about that. Many times in the meme token world, they don't love that. That's a very, very scary sign. No one said or done anything about that yet. So, hey, it is what it is. Yeah, that's not going to stop me, right, from being able to play. I'm just not going to have more than 1% of my portfolio in something like this. I'm going to take quick risks on this, get in and get out, and try to always just find the big ups, right? Because, like, that's a free good big up. I think when I saw it, 130K, I think I pulled out at, like, 20 million market cap. So I had a good clean... 100x on this bad boy, but I only started with 150, right? So you have to be smart about that, how much you're going to take the risk on. It still made a whole salary for somebody, but if you want life-changing money, what we need to do is find the entries down to here and take up anything like that. And again, that's a huge, you know, that you're not always going to find them at that low of a market cap, but that should be your goal. If you can find them that low, it's easy to get in, get out, and take some of the liquidity with you because that's the only way you'll be able to profit on meme tokens. What you never want to do is be these big red candles, but people usually don't have enough from the token in the beginning to be able to do that. And I will say, when things like this occur, it's like a lot of people selling. I mean, that's a 70% drop from an all-time high in under four, five hours, I think. Let's let's be realistic here. Let's see what it was. Yeah, under three, uh, four hours. Right? In four hours, we move that much. So it's not just one person. It's a lot of people selling and trying to just take profit because they don't think it's going to surpass that. And then what we saw from here is it restarted making this high right here. So as long as we, if we get to here, boys, it can get past this. If we don't get to here and it doesn't break this resistance and then break this resistance, we are not going to get to the next all-time high. So just keep that in mind. Don't just be telling yourself, oh, it's going to make it because you think it will. You need to keep watching. You need to check the TA and check the fundamentals. Is there any bad news coming out on Grok? I looked through Twitter today. I couldn't see any sort of like negative hashtags. I don't necessarily think that there could be more FUD. I think we've already been through the FUD on it. So now it's just hoping that it breaks through these resistances because every time it breaks one or two of the resistance, we're going to be able to get to the next all-time high. So just kind of keep that and watch. Remember, last time we only cracked, I think, like 160 mil to get to that top. So we have the capability to get past 200 mil as long as, again, it keeps breaking these resistance. Just make sure it's in your trading plan and you're very cautious in watching it because currently it does not look like it's moving in the direction we want. I do hope I'm wrong about that as we care and we do want this to 100x, 1000x. But it is time to start looking at the next big opportunity that could be life-changing money and I'll let you guys know as I find more gems this weekend yesterday like I said I couldn't find the one that I really liked and I did take a couple of DJ plays but let's see how today goes and as long as I get a chance to record it I'll post that bad boy but do me a favor please click like share and subscribe again I always ask at the end because I'm a shitty youtuber but I would love for you guys to do that and join me on this journey if we can make it to 2500 subs before the end of the year 
promise to do a giveaway and I hope this giveaway gives you guys a chance to take some risk on many of these meme tokens because the more risks you're taking the more opportunity you have to make life changing money all right hey comment below what plays you're in let me hear what you guys are thinking let me hear what you guys think about grok right now where do you think it's gonna go you think we can get back to the all-time high before you think bitcoin is going to continue on its rally don't hesitate give me your opinion i would love to see what you guys are thinking thanks so much